Hey everyone, it's Dave with Old Guys Rip 2. This is my review of drift boards. Drift boards are a backcountry approach ski. They are based out of Salt Lake City. They come in two versions, a carbon model that I'm holding here and a mixed glass version called the Oxygen. The Oxygen weighs in about six pounds, so about three pounds per foot. And the carbon ones weigh in at about five pounds, so a little bit lighter. Um, the carbon ones are a little bit stiffer, as you would expect. Um, both have a lot of similarities of a snowshoe and a split board kind of mixed together. They're built similar to a snowboard with your polyurethane sidewalls, a built-in skin um, that you don't have to remove, which makes transitioning when you get to your destination really fast and really simple. Uh, but if the skins do wear out, you can replace it. Uh, they have a steep nose ramp like you would have on your snowboard uh, for breaking trail and climbing. It has a binding that I think takes some qualities from a split board binding and a snowshoe. Um, you can mount your split board bindings to these if you so wanted, but they also sell um, these bindings as well. Um, they're very simple, very easy to use. Um, they move just like you would have on your split board or a snowshoe. They have your uh, ladders for different climbing angles. Real quickly, I'll show you how easy these are to use. So simply put your boot in. Adjust the, uh, the heel cup, cinch down the straps. I did find like this uh, heel strap to be kind of long. You can either tuck it under your toe strap or what I did just out of uh, simplicity was I tucked it inside my gaiter, inside my pants. Um, so drift boards, these have been an absolute game changer. They have allowed me to take whatever board I would like to ride in the backcountry. Um, if you're like me, I have multiple boards in my quiver. I don't always want to ride my split. Um, if it's early season or late season, maybe you want to take your rock board, you can climb with these. Um, I've also got into pow surfing and post holing and breaking trail um, to reach deep powder. Um, to access the goods on your pow surf can be absolutely exhausting. Whereas taking your drift boards um, opens a lot of doors. I really enjoyed using drifts because it allows me to ride whatever board I want to ride and just the easy transition. Get to the top, um, take these off. I use a ski strap to strap them together, strap this to my pack and strap in or jump on my power server and I'm on my way. Uh, for more on my specs and the full write-up, Check out oldguysroot2.com and subscribe below.